And that's been around since the 90s. I wrote about it in my EA, EAI book that I wrote in, you know, uh, 1995. ...data platform. And today I'm excited to share that we are introducing native MCP support in the X10,000. With this update, storage becomes an active, intelligent participant in your AI workflows. You can so now it's AI enabled because it has MCP report support, which just means it's able to appear as a server if you're leveraging the MCP protocol. Uh, uh, you know, needed? Yeah, sure, uh, maybe. Uh, just a tactical improvement, though. But it's something that they're going to jump on because it again they can claim agentic-based enabled en enabling technology. We now deliver unstructured and vector vector data directly into your AI data pipeline, so you can reduce latency improve accuracy, and keep your pipelines fed with the right data. Love to know how they're doing that. So you just went through a bunch of stuff that can be done, you know, in five factorial number of ways. So how are you guys instantly doing this? Can you, you know, not, I'm not looking to go to a detailed technical explanation in the middle of a keynote, but it would be nice if you led, you know, some understanding in terms of how you're approaching it. At the right time. And here is how it works. At hey, HPE, maybe. we're redefining what storage wrong. can be with the industry's first agentic storage array, the HPE Electra Storage MPX10000. This isn't passive infrastructure. This is intelligent data infrastructure, engineered for AI from the inside out. As data flows into the system, it doesn't just sit there. 